Hi, this is the second episode of Tim's Adventure into Arduino Programming. If you haven't seen episode one, then check it out on my YouTube channel. So Tim is learning Arduino for a very good reason. In this episode, you'll find out why. Before Tim can program his Arduino, he has to, of course, download the software. You're going to use Bing. Just type Arduino. All right, so there's two components you need to download. <clears throat> because we're using a Teensy, you need to download an extra library to enable the Arduino ID to use the Teensy. Okay. So let's go to down the download page. So how about we go open up another page, uh, yep. another tab. Software add-on for the Arduino. Yep, so okay. click on that one. Yep. <clears throat> Download the, click on the Windows XP 7, 8, 10 installer. Yep, there it is. 84 megs. Yeah, all good right. grief. And now while that's downloading, yep. uh, go back to the Arduino software. Yep. Now we need to get an older version, 1.6.7. So if you go to the previous releases. Download the previous version of the current release. Yeah. Yeah. Windows installer. Sounds good. Okay, click on that. Just download. Oh, look at that little behavioral economics thing there. Yeah, there should be a little sad face there. So how many minutes? 11 minutes. How about, while that's happening, how about I show you what I'm trying to do with this? this Sounds good. In a uh, electronic <coughs> Nerf blaster, yep. I'll show you here. Yeah. So, so this here is a pusher. Ah, uh, yeah, all right. See that? So a pusher that pushes out the uh, Nerf ball. Yeah, so this pushes right. it into some flywheels ahead of it. Right. And all I want to do is replace that, which is manually operated, with one of these things. Oh, man. And, that uh, is a big one. Yeah, that's right. So this is a solenoid. Yeah. So you have Just a question. Yeah. You couldn't get it any bigger than that. Uh, they warned <laughs> that the postage would be too much. This is from uh, China. Yeah, it took about okay. a month to get here, but um, you apply a voltage and it goes shoop, and right. then you turn the voltage off and it pops back yeah. out. And so I want to be able to make it go really fast. Right. You know you're actually just firing Nerf bullets and not metal. No, that's right. <laughs> that's right. It's, I take my fun very seriously. <laughs> that's good. All right. Well, you'll certainly be able to control that one. Yes, that's right. So I need some way to make this go on and off. Yeah. This is rated for 12 volts right. and probably <laughs> quite a number of amps. Maybe in another video you can show me how to do some sort of power circuit. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, so what have we got left? Five minutes left. Are we get a drink? Yeah. All right, let's get a drink. So it seems the uh, camera guy didn't press record. Oops, sorry. That's fine, don't do it again. So we lost a bit where Tim installs the software. It's a fairly basic process, so you can check that out on my website. In the meantime, here's a trailer for a very important movie that's coming up. One by two K. Two K. Okay. 3k. Well, okay then. That means that we're going to have to use the 3k resistor, I guess. Oh, can I sell the next time? So what we were talking about. Um, so we downloaded the Arduino, we've plugged it in. Yeah, plugged it in. Um, the instructions say hit verify first. Yeah. And hit the button on the... Uh, the reset button on the board, so shut yeah, it yeah. yeah. Right, so, right yeah. so hit verify, and I'm just gonna give it a tap. Alright, right. so you hear the hear the little bling bling bling. Yeah, that's right. And the lights <coughs> gone off, so something's happening. All right, so um, if you go to file, yep. you can go to examples. Now go to basics. Basics. Yep. Uh, let's load up Blink. All right, so this is a Hello World application that we had up before. So let's just compile that one. So what I do okay, is... So click on the verify. verify yeah. Okay. <coughs> Compiling sketch. This yeah, turning yeah. is making a <laughs> ones and zeros version of this in the background. Yeah, so it's converting uh, the English language yep. into... Machine code. Into machine code. <coughs> which is ones and zeros. Is which it? is, yeah, which is ones and zeros. All right, done. So now we want to click on the upload button. Here we go. Compiling sketch <coughs> again and... Uploading problem, uploading the board. Oh. Okay, so we've got an issue here. Okay, so I forgot to do something. Uh, the first thing we need to do, very important thing, we need to go, <laughs> need to, go to tools. Yep. Um, and then go to board. Yep. 
and set the board to Teensy <laughs> three point zero. So doesn't know what it's looking for. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah, okay. yeah, that's right, yeah, yeah. Okay, so before I go ahead, I just yeah. noticed that there's obviously a whole list of things here. Yeah. So that's these right. are all the supported boards that we. So the ones that Arduino that start with Arduino, the yeah. ones that are supported out of the box. Yeah. Basically. And the then pad. so can I just check when we downloaded that Teensy stuff <laughs> software, it added these. That's these right. The lists. That's right. 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 Okay. Correct. Okay. I'm with you now. You want me to pull up the sketch again? All right, so before we have any examples, examples, basics, basics. blink, blink. All right, yep. so this is a Hello World application. Yep. So if you want to click on, actually, before I do that, uh, let me just unplug this. <coughs> plug it back in again. All right, that's right. good. That's what we want to see. Okay, all right, so click on verify. So remember the instructions that it said that uh, we had to press the button. button. Yeah, are they? So the instructions haven't popped up there. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. so do you want to press the button? Oh, it's shot all the arrows. We okay. okay. Press the button on Twinsy to mainly enter program mode. Okay. So we've do? done that. Let's see if you can program the. the so I hit upload. Chug, chug, chug. There it is. It's blinking now. So there we go. I've noticed that it's blinking slightly slower than the. Original. Yeah, that's I right. So we... what I actually did beforehand was I actually changed the code to be slightly faster. Yep. So when you uploaded it, it would be perceptibly different. So Tim has done a bit of programming before, but he's going to have to get used to how to program in C code, which is the basics of Arduino. Expand out that screen a bit. Yep. Not close it. <laughs> Come on, dude. Here we go, let's try again. Oh, bro. <laughs> this is a fairly basic Hello World application. There's several key elements. You'll see the setup and loop. So these are two functions. So setup is where you perform initialization. So if you want to set up a, an LCD screen, sending initialization values to something on the I2C bus, this is where you do it. Loop is where the Arduino or loop constantly run that function. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of other parts to the Arduino ID. So there's a firmware contained within the Arduino which will allow you to upload code. Mm -hmm. Also, there's a lot of other extra stuff around it. That you can't see, but it's user-friendly, so you don't have to worry Correct. about Correct, that's it. right. So uh, this is a good thing about Arduino, is it presents you with two functions, setup and loop. Yeah. And that's all you need to worry about. And you don't need to worry about you know whether your machine code is correct and it's being put in the right location and so forth. Mm -hmm. Can I ask, what's all yeah, these sure. double lines here? What are these things? Okay, so double lines is a comment. Yes. So when you've got a line... That's for humans only. Humans only. Okay. You see yeah. a line that starts with, or in fact, anywhere with a double line. From then on is a comment. Yep. On that, on that line. And not that particular line. So oh. you can actually... So you see further down, you'll see the double double slash yep. further along the line. Yeah. Oh, okay. So anything beyond After. that is a comment. The same with a, uh, a slash star. So yeah. you've got a slash star. I see that up here. And a yep. star slash. So the opening and closing of a comment. Of a, of a paragraph <coughs> for yep. humans. Okay. That's right. Yep. So everything else uh, is C code. Yeah. Right. So um, so there's several things you need to bear in mind. You've got uh, basic functions. So the basic functions, the two two here, that are setup and loop, uh, and then you've got functions that you call within it. So uh, within setup, you'll see uh, pin mode. So what this does is it says, okay, the variable LED. You'll see that it's got int LED. Okay. So give it a name. I've got some instructions so, here. Pin thirteen has uh -huh. the LED and ten Z three, which is our board. That's so right. Now yeah. we know what thirteen is. Yeah. Isn't yes. that a number? Isn't it integer a number? Yeah. Well, it's, 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 LED it's, is a word. Okay, so when you say int LED, you're yeah. saying LED is a variable and it is an integer. But in this case, it's 16 bits wide. Okay. So it can go from 0 to 65,535. That's an integer. Right. Is that important for the LED <coughs> to be thinking? Okay, or? so in all intents and purposes, you don't care about it. All you know is that LED is a number and we've set this to 13. Yeah. Okay. 13 just so happens to be the pin number assignment. Yeah, so that means the <coughs> Arduino knows what that means. It's like yeah, a... so in this case, uh, we're using the TNC 3.0. Yep. Um, and the LED is attached physically to pin 13. Can I, can I just check here? On, on the pin, I can just have a quick look. Oh, yeah, sure. It's, it's, it's So one of these pins is actually like this one right next to it, probably. So just down here. So it's blinking this, yep. but it's also, it's also affecting whatever's on this pin. That's right. Somehow. Yeah, okay. So if you attach a multimeter up to it, yeah, <coughs> you'll see it yeah. going from 3.3 uh, volts down to zero. Yeah, I'll okay. okay. attach another LED to it and it'll blink as well. Or yeah, if you want to. Yeah, okay. yeah. So pin mode is a function within the Arduino ID that says pin 13 is going to be declared an output. Okay. So remember, going back to this, uh, this diagram here, yep. 
a lot of these pins could actually be set to either input, output, uh, analog, or be assigned to a multitude of other things. So we're telling, we're telling uh, Arduino, or telling the board, we want this pin to be giving out stuff, not receiving stuff. Correct. Okay. Correct. Um, all right. So if we move down the loop yep. section. Um, okay. So setup is declare the LED. So it's part of the initialization. Initialize. So, well, it's above. Now remember, now remember that yeah. setup will be run once. Yeah. But I can see here that the code is before setup. We've actually declared. Uh, yeah. Okay. We've so given labeled something. Before correct. Yeah, yeah. So it's a global. It's essentially a global variable. So okay. it can be used anywhere within. Uh, right. within the definition. Code. Yep. Okay. So the loop section, the first function that we're calling is digital write. Yep. And pin 13, we're setting a high. So it's LED equals 13, yep. And then 13. high. High is a macro, which is one, basically. So high is like a standard word used in Arduino that yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, it's high, low, yeah. Um, and then the next function is delay for 1,000 milliseconds. Yep, so keep doing this or whatever it is. No, no, do that once. Do, oh. Yeah, so it'll run it'll run that function. And then leave it on, so don't do anything. So, so yeah, having turned exit, it on. It'll exit out of that function. Yep. It'll be, it'll be turned on. Yep. And then it'll move to the next next function and which is just sit there for a thousand milliseconds. Well that LED is on. Yeah, there. okay. And then the next next function is Turn it off. Turn it off. And then sleep for a thousand milliseconds. Yep. So stay That's off it. or <laughs> keep the status quo for Yeah. Yeah, for a thousand and then loop goes back to the beginning again. Okay, so it doesn't actually loop, it actually exit out of the function, yep. does some other stuff and then comes back into loop. Okay. Finally, Tim gets to modify the Hello World application and he gets fairly excited about it. I also gave him a challenge. Let's see if he can do it. So if I want to make this thing blink fast, I can change these numbers. All right, so yeah, give it a whirl. So these are milliseconds or thousands? Milliseconds. Yeah. milliseconds. Okay, so let's uh, turn it on and leave it on for, um, well, let's make it blink really fast. So make it a tenth. So it's gonna it's gonna blink ten times faster. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we'll <coughs> upload. Do that. Upload. Okay. So I've got the board here. Here we go. It's blinking. All right. Here we go. Upload. It's, it's all green. Come on. Come on. Yeah. It's taking a while. Must be Windows. Here we go. Come on. Do it. Do it now. Oh. There's an error here. Teensy did not respond to a USB based request to automatically reboot. <coughs> Please press the program button. There you go. Oh, hey, there it is. <coughs> hey, okay, so it worked. Yeah. I've just changed the physical world. This there way, yes. <laughs> All right, so <sighs> um, see if you can make it blink into a heartbeat rate. Oh, okay. So, okay, okay. Pop, 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 pop. So um, there's going to be a short, test. short. Okay, yeah. Thanks for watching episode two. In episode three, Tim learns how to control an output based on an input. Set.